Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Uh, I'm Paul McCurger, and I'm with the Oregon Oak Keepers, and I cover Zone 4, which are the five, the five counties in the south. And uh, I want to thank all of you for being here today. It's just wonderful to see you. Uh, and I, wa I want to ask you a couple of things real quick and then run something by you. Uh, how many of you have ever said to your children, I'd stand in front of a Mack truck for you? How many? Okay, well, you better tighten your boots, laces, because there's a convoy coming, folks, and it's coming real fast. Now, your president is trying to enact all kinds of legislation uh, through his own executive orders. And we're not going to tolerate that, just as we're not going to tolerate Kate Brown. And apparently she has a sick mother. I think she is a sick mother. <laughs> okay. Down in my part of the woods, uh, I live in Coos County, and a lot of us ask, what can we do for our country or our county to make, make it better? I would suggest that you start local and that you take care of your own community first. Now, we took a uh, Second Amendment preservation ordinance to our county commissioners, and they refused to, two of the three refused to pass it. So we decided we're going to go out and get a petitions and fill them up, and we did. We put it out on the... Uh, uh, ballot last year and it passed by 61 percent so you guys can do that too we've done it in several other counties we've got uh, Willowa County, Wheeler, Coos County, Douglas County, Columbia County, I believe Lane County as well and the other thing we've done too is we've uh, covered five counties in, the, in the Oregon that uh, disagrees profusely with the National Defense Authorization Act. So we've got these things illegal in our county. Uh, Coos County is a safe haven for the Second Amendment. So they can't enforce all these laws that they're going to be doing up here. So what I want to do is I was uh, talking to my county commissioner and uh, if you guys want to get anything on the ballot before uh, for the November ballot, you got till August 30th. So what you can do is uh, go to a, a website that we posted our ordinance on any of you that are interested in doing this, just go on there and download it and modify it to meet your county's name and your information on it. And we've already done the work for you. So what you want to do is take it into your county commission and get on the agenda and then ask them if they would place this on the ballot as is without any alteration or modification. So that's what you want to do and the people will vote for it as well. So let me ask you, how will, uh, how will all you folks like to see Chris Ann Hall again? Okay, well guess what? She's going to be coming up here in September. On the 12th, she'll be in Roseburg. The 13th and 14th, she'll be in Coos Bay and Coquille. And on the 15th, she's going to be here in Salem. So I want you guys to come and see her. It's a rare opportunity to have Chris Ann here. Um, She's the one that does the, the genealogy of the Constitution. It's what she said. Our founders had over 700 years of examples to go by from English law from the beginning of the, the year 1100 called the Charter of Liberty. And then, of course, it goes to 1215 with the Magna Carta. So these people were not dumb old guys with white wigs and racist and all that. These people were wordsmiths. Everything they put down had a meaning for it and they knew exactly what that meant. And the definitions have not changed. Even though they tried to do that in today's encyclopedias and dictionaries, it still remains the same meaning as it was back then. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sick of the uh, gun laws that are coming out that don't even uh, affect us in the way of uh, positiveness. These things only affect us negatively, and it doesn't affect the criminal in any way, shape, or form. And I know this because I'm a retired policeman. We, uh, on another topic here about that, we let issue directives to all of our state presidents nationwide that we will be protecting the boys in blue and brown as their jobs are getting more and more crazy and more dangerous. So that we want to watch out for our brothers in blue. They're the first line of the fence, but we're the second. So what do you think of this Kate Brown's executive orders that she's going to do? Do we like them? No! Are we going to abide by them? No! We will not comply. No! We're Americans. We're not going to sit down. We're not going to shut up. 
We're going to be heard whether they like it or not. If you're not part of an organization like Tree Percenters or Oath Keepers, I encourage you to get involved with them. Join them, start going to the meetings and the training. Next uh, meeting we have in Coos County, we're going to be teaching how to do suturing, sewing up in uh, battlefield wounds and all kinds of things. And get with your county coordinators, visit us on Facebook and also at uh, Oregon3Percenters.com. You can find that all on Facebook if you go there and join us. Put in a, a, a friend request to join the, the group. And I think you're going to find it being very, very effective this, these days. Now, other states are looking to Oregon for examples because we're doing things right. We're getting things down. Yep. Oregonians don't put up with much crap from people. And I tell you what, <laughs> that's why you're all here today, because we don't want to deal with it no more. We want to let them know to stop it. So unfortunately, we can't. Uh, they're not here on today to listen to us, and, and I'm sure they wouldn't anyway. But do leave a message with your chalk out here and try to be polite. No uh, profanity, please. <laughs> Folks, there will be a reckoning one day. And unfortunately, it's going to be happening in our cities and our towns and our yards. The revolution isn't just coming. The revolution is here now. We're the wards of our children's liberty. We're not going to give up their safety for liberty, not one iota. It's up to us to do it. Children can't make a decision for themselves. They're only told to do what they're told to do and what they're taught. And as you know, that they've been caught and taught in our school systems today. But we need to put a stop to it. This uh, thing about the gender bathrooms and stuff, we're going to be working on that, putting a stop to it here in Oregon. And uh, again, I encourage you, please, get involved politically and get these ordinances on the ballot. Matter of fact, our ordinance is a, is a state ordinance through the Second Amendment Preservation. And it even has fines on there for $2,000 for the first offense and $4,000, uh, well, 2000 per person that does it, trying to enforce like SB 941. So that gives us a safe haven there. And if it's a corporation or like a, uh, a city or a county, they can be fined $4,000. You see, so we have a little bit of teeth in our ordinance. I encourage you folks to do that as well. Thank you all so much for being here and listening to my diatribe. I appreciate it. And just enjoy the rest of the day. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you. Yeah.